What's up family? I welcome you back once again to the channel. My name is Raymond. This is a channel where we try to uh, help people uh, theoretically pass for their uh, theory exams here in Italy uh, for the patente guida I mean. Alright, so uh, recently we started uh, tackling uh, segnali and or segnali di obbligo and today we are doing the continuation of it as usual i encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so and also don't forget to hit the notification bell to get more updates in case we upload a new video all right so today the continuation of uh, the scenario di obrigo the first thing we want to talk about is uh, direzione consentite destra e sinistra Okay, so when we say direzione consentite destra e sinistra, uh, what we are trying to mean is um, uh, there are two directions which are basically allowed for us to follow. So here we are uh, direzione consentite, allora indica l'unica direzione consentite si trova nella vicinanza di incrocio sia su strada a senso unico che doppio senso ed obbliga a svotare a destra ovvero oppure a sinistra so this one vieta pertanto a proseguire diritto so when we talk about this one uh, we mean this sign right here and uh, here you know uh, we can go to the right uh, the left and also we can go to the right we cannot go direct okay so the only direction allowed for us to follow is to go to the left or is to go to the right yeah so let's take a look at this guy right here now if you look at this guy right here you can see that he he saw this cartello here and uh, he have the option either to go to the left hand side here or to go to the right hand side here why because he saw this cartello blue so here he need to decide but go, can he go direct no he cannot go because the arrow doesn't permit him to go to the uh, to uh, go direct he had the obligo to go to the right or to go to the left so in quiz when you are asked if you see this cartello can you go to the right yes you can go can you go to the left yes you can go can you go direct no you cannot go because it doesn't uh, permit you to do that that is that okay so let's look at the next cartello here so the next thing we want to talk about is uh, uh direzione consentite diritto e destra so in this case as well we are talking about two directions and the directions we can go is to go dire uh, direct okay or is to go to the right hand side so let's look at what indica le uniche direzioni consentite okay so si trova nella vicinanza di un incrocio ed obbliga a svotare a destra ovvero oppure a proseguire diritto ok so vieta pertanto di, uh, di svotare a sinistra di proseguire solo diritto o svotare unicamente ok so unicamente a destra ok so um, that is it let's see so you, you looking at this guy right here had the direction he can go direct he can go to the right but he cannot go to the left okay so that is it so let's look at this guy right here now looking at this guy right here um, he saw this sign and the arrow indicates direct and right okay so he can basically go direct looking at the arrow he have the intention either to go direct or to go to the right so here he can decide which of a of a uh, areas he want to go but can he go to the left no he cannot because the direction never permits him to do so okay so let's look at the next thing uh we gonna do Okay, so the next thing we want to talk about is uh, uh, direzione consentito diritto e sinistra. So direzione consentito uh, diritto e sinistra indica l'unica direzione consentita. Si trova nella vicinanza di un incrocio sia urbano che extraurbano e obbliga a proseguire diritto o svotare a sinistra. Ok, so vieta pertanto di svotare a destra o proseguire solo diritto o svotare unicamente a sinistra. So this one um, on the other way doesn't tell us to go only um, only right or only 
only to go direct but we can decide to go to the left or we can go to um we can go direct but we cannot go to the right hand side okay so uh that is uh it for the return consent it so in the quiz can we go direct yes we can go direct can we go to the right no we cannot go but can we go to the left yes of course we can go to the left okay so let's look at this guy here right as well now looking at this guy uh he also saw this cartello here and that's the same thing we have here and uh he have uh options he can do okay so you can see you can see that he also have intention either to go direct or to go to the right side okay to go this area but he cannot go to the to uh to the left or uh, to the right okay so he can go direct or he can go to the left but he cannot go to the right okay so why because he saw this arrow here or this indication here that never permits him to go uh to the right so in this case if quiz is asking you here if we see this cartello can we go direct yes can we go to the left yes can we go to the right no we cannot go can we go direct and uh right uh left yes can we go direct and right no we cannot go okay so always be very cautious and get the explanations clear all right so let's dive into the next thing right here so let's see uh the other thing we we want to talk about so the next thing we want to talk about is a uh, passaggio obligatoria sinistra now when we talk about passaggio passaggio uh, simply means uh, a, a, a passage okay so is a is a passage we we need to do there, there is a few things we we want to do okay so uh let's look at what we can do when when it is a uh, passaggio so um all right so passaggio obbliga conducente a passare a sinistra di un ostacolo cantiere stradale salvagente spati traffico isola di traffico so passaggio simply means um there is an obstacle uh, in front of us so we need to pass at the left okay of the obstacle so when the obstacle is meaning that the obstacle is at our right going to the right we are going to hit a wall we are going to hit isola di traffico salvagente or something so we should pass to the left leaving the obstacle at our right hand side okay so let's look at what we we mean from this uh this indication here all right so looking at this guy right here you see uh this is passaggio okay so passaggio he saw this cartello here and uh he going here you know because there is this obstacle for the buses okay this area this obstacle for uh this is uh, uh an indication way where, where we cannot transit okay so because there is this obstacle here this guy cannot go direct okay so he had to uh pass pass at this uh area leaving the obstacle at his right hand okay so if you look at this said lasciare lo stacolo a destra okay okay so it means that this guy can pass to the sinistra okay to the left leaving the obstacle at his right hand side all right so maybe uh let's look at this uh more example right here so looking at this example here as well you can see that um this guy you know there is uh, this wall right here so he going direct the if he want to go to this area there is this wall that that he cannot pass to okay so assuming he was going direct to this way you know to the direction he is taking right now he cannot go so he had to uh pass at the right leaving the uh, at the left leaving the obstacle at his left then from there he can continue his journey you understand so passaggio doesn't means you want to change your direction but just passing at an obstacle then you continue your journey from there all right so that is it for that yeah so the next thing we want to look at is uh passaggio obligatorio a destra okay so we saw the passaggio uh, obligatorio a sinistra and this is the opposite of it so if we are not going passing to the left we are passing to the right okay so obbliga i conducenti a passare a destra de un ostacolo cantiere stradale salvagente whatever so that's the same thing as um the other one we had but this one on the other underhand we need to pass to 
the right okay leaving the obstacle at our left so if we go to the right it means that we are leaving the obstacle at our right so this is uh, the sign you will see right here okay so this is the sign you will see all right so let's look at this instant uh, right here so if you look at this guy also right here you know for uh, this example so this guy going direct to this arrow will, 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 will transit on this uh, sabagente okay so uh, he had to go to the right okay passing to the right of the sabagente leaving this sabagente to the to the right side okay so it means that he cannot pass here so he had to uh, he cannot transit on this sabagente so he need to pass at the right side of the sabagente leaving the sabagente to the to the left side okay so let's look at one more example of this all right so you see, if you look at this guy right here as well, there, there is a cantere stradale, so people are working on the road, men at work. So if you want to go to this area, okay, so this area is, is, is blocked. Okay, it's blocked no one can transit here so for you not to to hit on in, in or to have accident from this area pass, the indication is here so pass at the at the right side of this obstacle so leaving the obstacle to to your left hand okay so anytime we pass to the right we leave the obstacle at our left person at the left we leave in the obstacle at our right hand all right so that is it for that as well so let's look at this uh, the next thing to treat so the next thing we want to talk about here is passage passage consentiti okay so Passaggi consentiti indica i conducenti gli unici passaggi consentiti. Consente di passare sia a destra che a sinistra da ambidue tutti i lati. So, ambidue tutti i lati uh, underlined. Okay, so uh, on the both sides we can we can pass at. Okay, so looking at this symbol right here tells us that we can pass to the left okay and also we can pass to the right so depending on what we want to do if we want to pass to the left we can go if we want to pass to the to the um to the left or to the right yes sure so we can do all so as bayato dire che scenario obbligato as votare uh, as votare Las vota presidente. So this is not as votare. So as votare means you are changing the exact direction like those ones that we see before as votare a destra, votare a sinistra. But if we see these arrows uh, pointing down like these ones, okay, so it means that we need to pass at an obstacle, okay. So that is it. So let's look at uh, this instance right here. So if you take a clear look at this, you can see that uh, this guy saw this arrow here, okay. So uh, it's passage consented. Now, even before, um, so this guy decided to go to this direction okay and the other guy also decided to go to this direction so they saw this cartelli and have uh, two options either you go this way or you go this way but can you because you can't pass at this area this area there is an there is an obstacle okay so you cannot go here so either you, you pass this direction or you pass this direction okay so that is it uh for this and uh let me let me let me throw uh give one more example on on this so this is a very clear example as well so you see there there was this one single passaggio okay for this guy so passi uh passi a destra lasciando l'obstacolo a sinistra okay so here he, if he wanted to go direct uh he cannot go so to the um the first example we did he had to pass to the right okay so he did and looking at here if it, when they were here they had the option either you pass to the uh to the uh to the right or you pass to the left but going direct you can't because the the road is already uh, blocked you understand so he did decided either you pass to to the left like the arrow indicates or you pass to the right as this one indicates as well yeah so that is it for passage consentiti okay so passage consentiti these are passages that are, are, are allowed uh, for us to 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 take off so the next thing we want to talk about is rotatoria so rotatoria is basically the runabout okay so uh the runabout uh we all see anytime is the runabout uh is a rotatoria so i'm saying the prescription presenza di un incrocio 
nel quale la circolazione è regolata, uh, regolata ed obbligo uh, perciò i conducenti a circolare se, secondo il verso indicato delle frecce. Ok, so if we say uh, secondo, uh, eh, secondo il verso indicato della frecce, when we say the frecce, these arrows are what we say the frecce, right? So here we need to follow the frecce, ok? So it's going this way and that's the way we need to go. It's not going the opposite direction, okay? So anytime we see rotatoria, it means that we need to take it to the right, okay? So we pass from here to, okay, that's how we take the rotatoria. So uh, if you see this sign, it tell, it's telling you that, okay, you are at a, a rotatoria or you are at a runabout, okay? So, uh, può essere posto subito prima dello sbocco su una piazza o su un'area dove è prescritta la circolazione rotatoria sulla strada so this is basically um a rotatory anytime you see this it tells you that there is a runabout so let's see uh this example right here so this is the example uh i want to give right here you see so this guy got to this area and uh you see there is still the passaggio okay so he need to pass to the right leaving this obstacle at the left okay so now he saw rotatoria okay so meaning there is a runabout so he need to take uh, the caution and the runabout like we said we take it to the right okay so this guy would decide if he want to go here he cannot pass here to the runabout okay so from here there is a rotatoria so he follow uh, the the freccia of the rotatoria as uh, as i already indicated so looking at this uh, instant here shows you uh let me give this instant to show you how um, you go with uh, the runabout so uh, this how it is for the rotatoria like i said you see there is a scenario uh, catello for rotatoria and uh, this arrow indicated red means that the, the runabout cannot be taken in the, like this direction it is not permitted okay so we take it to the sense of a freccia okay so the freccia is going to the right so we need to go this direction so if we want to exit here from here we exit here okay if we want to exit there we cannot go this way we go and uh, we exit here okay so if we want to exit here we go and we exit here so if we want to turn back we go and we turn from this area so that is the indication of uh, the runabout how we take a runabout so it, it always go according to the freccia okay so the arrow and that is the arrow that goes uh from uh from right to to right okay so that is it and uh maybe let's look at this instance as well so this one tells us you know it's a rotatoria but then before we will get to a rotatoria this is what we will see okay so rotatoria is kind of a, a pericolo okay so because moving at this area takes a lot of caution other than that uh, there will be a lot of uh, accidents and all so this is kind of a, a pericolo that tells us that okay ahead of you there is a rotatoria okay so in this case 320 meters ahead of us when we were here it it it, it, it noticed that that ahead of us there is a, a rotatoria okay so 320 meters ahead of us there will be a rotatoria and we need to go according to the freighter so that is how it is so if you see this one in a quiz it is a question se chiama un preavviso like a, a un preavviso okay that tells us that there is a rotatoria ahead of us okay so that is it for that as well so let's look at the next thing the next thing we want to talk about is limiting minimo di velocità and uh, mi limiting minimo di velocità is uh, basically um what do we say so prescrivi un limite minimo di velocità a di sotto de quale è vietato scendere quindi è obbligatorio a mantenere la uh, o superare i 30 km orari senza però oltre uh, passare i limiti generali vigenti nel quale tipo di strada ok so uh this uh Catello here tells us uh, the velocity minimum we can go. Okay, so on this particular road, uh, you can you cannot go below 30. Okay, so you cannot go 29. You cannot go 29.4 kilometers per hour. You cannot go uh, beyond that. But you can go 30 kilometers per hour. You can go 40 kilometers per hour, depending on the rules of the road in which you are. That we will look for them later. Uh, how many uh, kilometers per hour or the speed you can go on uh, different roads here in in 
in, in, in Europe or in Italy as a whole. So ad esempio se posto su una autostrada da non si può superare la velocità di 100 km a uh, 130. Ok, so if it is on autostrada we know that okay velocity minimum minimo, uh, maximum is 130. So here we can go from 30 to 130. Okay, if it is in centro abitato maybe we can go from 30 to 50. But we cannot go below 50 okay so vehicles that um uh, like bicycles and other motor vehicles uh, that cannot go up to 30 kilometers per hour will not be allowed uh, to transit on this kind of roads okay so look at this example right here so taking a clear look at this uh, vehicle, vehicle here you know there is a, min a minimum velocity velocity of 30 you know so if you look at this vehicle here he can go uh, it means that he can he can go up to up to 30 um, like from 30 kilometers per hour so he cannot go below 30 kilometers per hour if it was bicycle or any other thing they cannot transit on this particular road so that is it for uh, velocita minimo 30 okay so you go you can you can go the little you can go supposed to be 30 you cannot go below or less than 30 here all right so let's look at the next thing and that is the fini uh, velocita minimo so uh let's talk about it so fini velocità mean uh fini the limit minimum di velocità di 30 km orari uh, so this is what you see you see the 30 has been as barato rosso okay so indica la fini the limit minimum di velocità quindi si può circolare a velocità inferiore a quella indicata da segnare così da uh, come and uh, come anche a velocità superiore senza però oltre superare uh, il limite generale vigente per quel tipo di strada ok so here it means that now we can go even below 30 ok before here we cannot go below 30 but here you can go below 30 you can go um, um, more than 30 as you want but making sure you don't go uh, more than the the velocity you can go on that particular road okay so that is it for that as well and uh, mostly this uh, one more thing to say is that uh, a lot of vehicles might be going uh, some speed you know limited that if you slow down so much can cause interaction like it can cause accidents and all so that's why we uh, they normally use some um, this indication so that you don't go below uh, or very slow to create accidents and all yeah so that is it for today and uh, in another lesson we are going to cover uh, some few other things uh, as well uh, like this catene and other things so uh, we will be uploading uh, other video very soon so um, I will encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so and stay tuned for more uh, video lessons of this kind and if you enjoy the video please don't forget to uh, comment below and if you have any other questions or some assistance or if you don't understand something just comment under comment section until now see you